welcome to my channel, it's Crystal O. And if you are new here, I am a, a lifestyle, beauty, faith, fashion, literally do it all, <laughs> vlogger, um, influencer, and content creator. And I also work full time as a therapist. I am a licensed master uh, social worker, um, received my master's degree about two, one to two years ago. Um, so I have been practicing as a child and family therapist. And um, I just wanted to hop on here to discuss the um, theme of grief and just maybe even just the feelings of um, pain or loss during the holidays. Um, we all know that um, Christmas is seven days away and with Christmas being seven days away, of course, there are going to be a lot of feelings coming up, a lot of feelings being felt. And due to that, I just thought it would be a good idea to address the mental health aspect of it all. So uh, join me today as we just kind of uncap a little bit of what the holiday brings, the pain, the memories, uh, maybe even the loneliness, right? Um, but yeah, hopefully this video will be encouragement to you. Um, this video is not therapy, um, all opinions on my own. Um, just sharing just to be a help to those who may be looking for some help or just for some encouragement. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So firstly, I would like to just go ahead and point out the elephant in the room of where grief could be coming from. Um, 2020 was a crazy year filled with a lot of loss, whether it be loss of job, loss of friendships, loss of family members, uh, just a loss of the reality or the plans that we had made for 2020, right? They feel like when the new year was coming in, we were all like, yay, 2020 clear vision it's gonna be the best year ever and then we get hit with just a series of unfortunate events and that alone can bring about what we call ambiguous loss um, so ambiguous loss basically just pertains to um, the idea that you lost something it doesn't have to be a death it doesn't have to be some major tragedy it just has to mean a loss of something you held dearly this could mean moving from one country to another one home to another this could mean even just losing a treasured item that you loved and even at that this would bring about some form of grief which usually will include the you know stages of grief that you experience whether it be anger sadness depression right bargaining um, and ultimately trying to get to that acceptance piece of what has been lost. And I feel like 2020 has been a, a year to lose even just our ideology of what we planned to be, right? Or what we thought we were going to achieve um, in 2020. Um, so it's been a long, long year. And like I said, that alone can bring about so much grief that we may not even know that we are experiencing um, because we, we won't identify it as like a loss, right? We don't think about identifying losing things as leading to grief because usually we talk about grief as it pertains to the death of someone but i'm here to share that you can grieve a friendship you can grieve a relationship you can even grieve what you thought 2020 would be and what it currently is all of those things can bring about um, feelings and stages of grief that can be experienced and maybe you're experiencing them now and you're like oh it's all making sense and I'm kind of putting words to those behaviors, um, but yeah, there there typically can be a lot of grief, especially when loss has been experienced um, in a grand or little way, right? So when it comes to the holidays, um, I feel like the holidays kind of spark or strike a chord in all of us that kind of you know includes a desire to be around family loved ones and um, people we hold dearly or even just you know maybe things we hold dearly um, but this holiday of course will look a little different with the pandemic and with coronavirus it's really calling for you know staying home more or social distancing at these events or picking and choosing which events you're going to bail on or cancel on just to remain safe. So this holiday, I do want to encourage you that whether it be broken relationships or whether it be grieving just um, the the lack of community because we're all so disconnected, I just wanted to encourage you to just take some time to process, take some time to 
process your feelings and your thoughts. Um, I tend to be a stuffer. Um, I'm very good at being aware of my emotions, but I tend to stuff them because I don't want to deal with them because who needs emotions? All of us, right? But I tend to stuff them. And I feel like it's very, very important that you take a moment to be still and to process your thoughts and feelings because whether you like it or not, they will catch up to you, especially as it pertains to grief. If you're grieving something you loved, if you're grieving someone you loved, that will catch up to you eventually. So your best bet is to go ahead and process that now when it's happening. The other thought that I have would also be just trying to find ways to stay connected as much as possible, whether it be calling a friend, whether it be you know starting a little community group or reaching out to people or maybe having some kind of safe virtual Christmas or maybe having people who have quarantined over for Christmas. Um, just little ways that you can kind of remain safe during these holidays and help stop the spread of coronavirus. Another thing that I would like to speak on is loneliness. Um, so a lot of you guys may or may not know, but um, I moved to Nigeria when I was 13, moved back to America for college when I was 18, 17, and I didn't have my parents for a large portion of my life for the holidays. And it was really, really hard for me because um, I felt very, mm, somewhat abandoned, right? I felt somewhat left behind or just very lonely because I would see my cousins and other people opening gifts with their parents and their families and it would just kind of be me, like opening gifts, yeah, but like not from family and, and you know, those that I actually love and want close that are super far away. Um, so it was really hard for me and I really took on a very, you know, abandoned mindset and a very, um, almost like an orphaned mindset. And this was very unhealthy, obviously, um, due to my parents not being present for work-related reasons and just for just trying to make a living for their kids in America. Um, but nonetheless, my experience is my experience. So um, I wanted to just encourage you, if you feel like you're just disconnected from family this holiday, to just um, find that silver lining, but also do be aware of, of, you know, this is the way you feel and this is where you currently are. Um, but also fighting for um, a refreshed perspective. Um, as a believer, as a Christian, um, I do hold dearly the concept that um, I am loved by God and I do belong to God and I am a child of God. Um, so this holiday, even if you are alone, um, you are still owned, you, are still you still have belonging essentially. Whether it's not with family, whether it's not with friends, um, that you still belong and you are still deeply loved and cherished. Um, I would also encourage you to just reflect on the reason for the season, right? For Christmas, um, celebrating the birth of Jesus and kind of what that means to you um, as a believer, or maybe if you're not a believer, what, what does that mean to you? And just try to find ways to make the most of the holidays. The holidays can be hard and it can be very, very tiresome, especially when everyone's all happy and you're like, what's there to be happy about, right? Um, just find the ways to make the most of it, whatever that might look like for you. Um, start a new tradition. I know for me and my husband, the tradition that I wanna start is building a gingerbread house. We have not done that yet, but um, just wanting to build a gingerbread house because I feel like, you know, the holidays already are hot enough being disconnected from our families um, during this time, during the pandemic, um, but also just finding ways to make it fun and more enlightened. Um, and yeah, I feel like those are just some helpful things that um, would really just help out during this time. Um, as it pertains to broken relationships, I would just say that those hurt, right? Broken relationships suck. They are not fun to go through. And I've had a series of them happen in my own personal life. Um, but I do believe that all these things happen for a reason. Um, and there's something to be learned in every relationship or loss that we do experience. And I would just encourage and challenge you today to find that that reason to find that meaning behind that pain right because there's always meaning behind them um, and I would also just encourage you to reflect on um, maybe even the good memories or maybe even things that you know or reasons why that relationship um, wasn't going to withhold or maybe you're finding a reason that you feel that that relationship needs to be reconciled um, whatever the case may be I would just encourage you to reflect on those points um, so yeah Hopefully this video was helpful as it just pertains to grief. Hopefully you felt seen. 
Um, hopefully you took some gems away from this video, some ideas and some encouragement, um, ultimately on how to get through the holidays, um, whether it be experiencing grief, broken relationships, loss, or whatever it may be. Um, you guys have a great holiday and feel free to comment below with any thoughts, questions you may have, and I will talk with you guys soon. Bye.